attitude Let's forget about a curfew Cause all that is stuck in my head It's me and you Both speed and my heart is racing But I'm not sure I wanna place it Cause it only does this with you Our bodies meet, I can feel the tension Move us into the next dimension Let's just let our bodies be true Yes, this is the Castel Camping. just arrived and we're getting set up we had a little quick look around at this place and it is a lovely site it's called uh, Chateau Point Sous which I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that but I think that's about right you can see it in the distance there and it's great we're in a great spot here there's the toilet block which is really nice clean fresh spacious there's a little playground there for the kids which they're already Billy's already down there these two are set up playing here and we're cooking um, sausages on the Ridge Monkey out here. We're going to do a sausage pasta. And we're going to open, of and course. We've got a nice bottle of red and we actually drove through cognac earlier on so we had to stop and pick up a bottle of cognac which we're going to try later in, on. In, the, uh, in view of the chateau, how very nice. So there's the shop. There's a little Oh, another play area there where the kids are already in. Oh, the kids are going to love that. Especially Holly. There's the chateau behind the trees there. Oh, lovely. How cool is that? How and it's a baby pool as well. Oh, yeah, look. There's a chateau hiding behind the trees. Isn't it stunning? It's lovely. We can spend all day here tomorrow. Okay. Go on then, what are we doing? Um, in the tea time we have half the sticky banana well, it's kind of like spaghetti bolognese, but it's with sausage. French sausages, isn't it? Mmm, yeah. mm, yummy. Yummy. Yeah, we've got the, the red wines poured. The girls have got water. I've got the tiniest grater <laughs> in the world. We've got the baby grater <laughs> now. Which actually is really good. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's the chateau in the background. Aren't we lucky? Isn't even that lovely? Even a park, even a play area. And even a play area. And, and also, we've got yeah, the, the best park. parking place in the campsite ever. Well, we have, haven't we? We're very happy with our parking yeah. place. We've tried this new cognac we bought earlier on. Whilst on the road, passing through cognac. Yeah, we were just happened to pass through cognac on our way to this campsite and uh, there was quite a few places um, selling you know their their uh, cognac on the side of the road oh look French stick in the basket So we have had a lovely day chilling out by the pool at the chateau. And also I left my bike at the toilet block. You did, so you just had to go and retrieve your bike. But in the meantime, we ordered chateau takeaway. Which is And it's amazing. all homemade stuff. <laughs> and the girls have got Toulouse sausage and veg, and chips. I've got beef stroganoff. Joe has got chicken and mushroom sauce. Chicken escalope, mushroom and cream. Yeah. 
and we got some local vino from the Chateau. Very nice. Are we enjoying our stay here, girls? Yeah! Yeah, the yeah. Castel um, chain of um, campsites gets five stars from us. So we're making fairly good progress from uh, Limoges on the way towards, uh, well, we're going to Grenoble tonight, but at the moment we're following signs towards Lyon and Saint Etienne. Um, it's just stopped for something to eat. Just got going after filling for diesel, and as we're pulling out, of course, we've only just changed it. Poppy needs a nappy changing. Kids are in the back watching Scooby Doo, and we've still got. Um, Oh, I don't know, another 300 kilometers to cover to get to this campsite in Grenoble tonight. So here is the uh, motorway services map of France. And uh, last night we stopped in, uh, or the night before, in Limoges, or Limoges, however you say it, about there somewhere, just on the outside in the uh, Castel uh, site. And tonight we've got another Castel site, and we are making our way all the way along here towards Grenoble. And the campsite is uh, about there somewhere. And then two days' time, we head across the Alps back towards Italy. So we're here again tonight, and then we head home tomorrow. But we're just looking out the window this morning, and we're at this um, Castel site near, not far from Grenoble, or there's Do Alps. They Do Alps, which is near a ski resort. We're looking out of here this morning. There's mountains. The kids have gone to Kids Club, uh, only just for a couple of hours, uh, but Poppy's still with us, so we're going off on a bike ride. Uh, you can see how we've set up. We decided to do the uh, uh, the full setup last night, just because up here in the mountains near Alpe d'Huez it's a little bit uh, chilly. Um, so it meant that we could sit out last night and this morning and have breakfast uh, in the comfort of the awning, which is very nice. He's getting ready for a bike ride. <laughs> so come on inside, and I'll show you what's going on in here. There we go. So, an update on the Van Gogh is that um, you were getting a bit quicker at putting it up and uh, setting things up. 
it's very well made very impressed with it overall and uh, certainly the more you use it the more you like it uh, we haven't set up the equipment tent this time it is there and instead we've piled all our stuff there which is out of the roof box and out of the boot uh, which works pretty well and it also means that in the middle of the night when it's a bit chilly the girls have got somewhere to uh, nip to the loo Pop is in a usual place um, so uh, it's pretty good and we're ready for a little bike ride with already... no moaning hopefully just the three of us <laughs> Holly, just put it in there, look. That's it. And Izzy, what are you doing? We're posting our cards. Your postcards? Back yeah. to England. Back to England. Great, say thank you to the man. Thank you, now. <laughs> cooking guess what curry again but it's a bit windy and miserable outside so we're cooking in the awning tonight pops to sleep nice puppy and the girls are playing inside the van yeah it's not that warm today we have been in the indoor pool but it's a bit chilly so we're Girls are doing some colouring, aren't you girls? Yeah! <laughs> I'm just doing Z for my sister. And I've got a monster truck and I'm gonna finish it! Brilliant! Daddy's making curry and Mummy's on washing up duties. Yum yum girls! Mm -hmm. Yum yum! Uh, you might notice the lights are flickering, that's because it does that when you're starting the the heater up so we've got uh, we're just starting the uh, diesel heater that looks very classy doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> but that honestly did come out of a very nice bottle of Bordeaux all right one up a tutor natural disaster inside and this is supposed to be wet and dry so we're going to see if it works Holly's plate went upside down so we have curry and rice. You're sharing you're sharing it with tea now. So we can just give it a quick wipe round now. And that'll be done. Disaster over. So this is our last uh, night of the trip and uh, we're just settling in uh, to watch a movie tonight. Hello. It's 9am and we're starting the pack up process. Obviously the fifth seat uh, stood outside with a barbecue cover over it. All this is going to come down very shortly after we've had breakfast but in the meantime just to show you, obviously the bikes are going to go on, they can go on now anytime. But uh, I've laid this tarpaulin out, gives you an idea what we're carrying. This pile is stuff for the boot. So we've got things like our um, uh, pegs and uh, bluey gas stove. Then we've got our, another bag for the electrics, which I've got to pack away yet. The car ramps, the baby carrier bags with towels and bits and pieces in, swimming stuff mainly. And then this is what goes in the car, so we've got the kiddie seats. And in the roof box, there's all our bits and bobs for there, including the bike helmets and the pop-up tent, which we didn't use this time around. Last day, we went 
went home over the elves. The elves? You mean the elves? Yeah. The elves. Yeah. There. So we left our second chateau and we took this lovely route over the Alps, past Turin, towards home. We can always stay a little longer We don't have a plan Just let me live a little younger Than I really am We've got nothing here to save us Save us from the sound Ready? Here we go, across the damn wall Look, we're driving across the, the top of the wall now, the dam. Look, look out. Look at the water coming out of there. driving today, Poppy. <laughs> This is such a stunning drive between uh, Grenoble and Turin. Um, I would highly recommend it. It is stunning. This is uh, the French Italian border, and we just noticed. There's a, um, uh, a site set up specifically for motorhomes just as you cross the border here. So there's 220 places. And that's fantastic. You just pull up, pay the overnight fee, and the barrier opens, you go in, and you can drop your grey water. And here is the Italian border. Hello. I'm now sitting in the back <laughs> with Izzy. Uh, Holly was getting a bit restless, so we put her in the front seat. Have you enjoyed your tour of uh, France and Italy? Yes. We have. What was your favourite bit? Well, my favourite bit is when we went on the merry-go-round. In the merry-go-round? Yeah. Where was that? Do you remember? In La Rochelle. La Rochelle, yeah. What about sleeping next to the beach? That was good fun, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like the waves. You like the waves? You wake me 
Yeah. Uh, you like the swimming pools? Awesome! Yeah, we've had a really nice time. So please keep watching and subscribe if you like, if you haven't already, and give us a good thumbs up. We'll see you next time. <laughs> no, don't give us a thumbs down. <laughs> we've all been away for a month and we're just arriving home. <laughs> Excited, Holly? Yes! Yeah.